Peter from First Maths. Today we're looking at Year 4, Block 2, Assessment 1, Pay Problem. Answers after each question. Let's go. Question 1. Put the correct sign bigger than or smaller than in each box. 48 something 81. 92 something 23. 54 something 45. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. 48 is smaller than 81. 92 was bigger than 23. 54 was bigger than 45. Let's look at the next question. Question 2. Round these distances to the nearest 100 miles. 660 miles is what to the nearest 100 miles? 375 miles is what to the nearest 100 miles? 650 miles is what to the nearest 100 miles? 542 miles is what to the nearest 100 miles. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. 660 miles rounded to the nearest 100 is 700 miles. 375 miles rounded to the nearest 100 is 400 miles. 650 miles rounded to the nearest 100 is 700 miles. 542 miles rounded to the nearest 100 is 500 miles. Let's look at the next question. Question 3. Complete the addition grid this time. So 23 plus 34 makes 57. 54 plus 43 makes 97. So complete all the white squares and this yellow square. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. Answers. 54 plus 41 makes 95. 54 plus 34 makes 88. 54 plus 43, 97. 23 plus 41 makes 64. 23 plus 34 makes 57. 23 plus 43 makes 66. 76, take away 41, makes 35. 35 plus 34 makes 69. 35 plus 43 makes 78. Let's look at the next question. Question 4a. The table below shows how many people visited the leisure centre in one week. On Tuesday there were 164 people. On Wednesday 189 people. On Thursday there was 168 people. On Friday, 210 people. On Saturday, 345 people. And on Sunday, 334 people. How many people went to the centre at the weekend? Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here is the answer. 889 went on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Here is the next question. Question 4b. The table below shows how many people visited the le leisure centre in one week. How many more people went on Sunday than on Thursday? Show you're working out, you may get a mark. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer is 
166. Let's look at the next question. Question 5. Complete these multiplication grids. This time you have two to do. How you fill them in is this. It'd be 6 times 0 is something. 6 times 10 is something. 6 times 5 is something. This time it's trickier. Because it is 10 times 4 is something. Or 4 times something is 8. 10 times something is 6. 60. Now, work out the answers. And then, when you pause the video to work out the answers, then we will go and look at the answers. Are you ready? Here we go. The answer is coming now. The answers were 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 5 is 30. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 5 is 15. 10 times 0 is 0. 10 times 10, 100. 10 times 5, 50. 10 times 4, 40. 10 times 6, 60. 10 times 3, 30. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 4, 20. 5 times 6, 30. 5 times 3, 15. Let's look at the next question. Question 6a. Five children each bake a cake. Each child needs 125 grams of sugar. How many 1 kilogram bags of sugar will be needed? Show your working, you may get a mark. Pause the video until you have worked out the answer. Here comes the answer. One kilogram bag because the, the sugar comes in one kilogram bags. Let's look at the next question. Question 6b. If there is any sugar left over, how many more cakes would it be possible to bake? Remember that each portion is 125 grams. And you have used five portions so far. Pause the video until you have answered the question. Here comes the answer. Three. Question 7a. Two objects are weighed. Write down the mass of each object in the box on the scale. Pause the video until you are ready for the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer is 600 grams for A and 1,500 grams for B. Let's look at the next question. What is the total mass in kilograms for these two scales? Pause the video until you are ready to give an answer. Here comes the answer. 2 kilograms, 100 grams or the equivalent, it could be 2,100 grams, or 2.1 kilograms. Let's look at the next question. Question 8, the final question. Sorting these shapes into groups by putting the letter of a shape into the correct box. Which 
shape belongs in which box? These are quadrilaterals, regular, non-regular. These are not a quadrilateral, regular, not regular. Where would you put each shape in each box? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. These are the answers. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like below. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell to be informed every time I upload a math resource. I like uploading math resources and so it would be a shame if you missed any. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!